Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to go through a quantitative reasoning question. If you've not seen this series, I've got a folder here where we go through all the practice questions and I talk through my methodology of each. Also for the quantitative reasoning, I've got an entire playlist here where I talk through all the theory or everything that you need to know to make sure that you score highly. And then I go through some examples there as well. But for now, we're going to go through a question. I'm going to give you 20 seconds to have a go at it. And then after I'm going to show you how I go about the answer and the best way to do it. Well done having a go at that, I'm going to go through exactly how I would go about tackling a question like this. So with a question like this, we're often thrown loads of data in a table and are very tempted to kind of go straight in and work out all the data, work out what's going on. But this is a classic example of a question where actually that is the wrong way to go about it. Because if you read the question, you realize that basically there are only two numbers that you need on there to work that out. So let's go through the question. So the table shows the temperature in degrees Celsius on the surface of each of six planets. And the question states, the temperature on Venus is halfway between the temperature of Earth and the temperature on Mercury. What is the temperature on Mercury? So this is somewhere where it's a little bit cheeky because it's kind of like all of the UCAT is tempting you to use outside knowledge. And it's kind of with outside knowledge that it makes this a little bit easier because you understand the orientation of Mercury, Venus and the Earth. But still, you need to try and make sure that you don't get confused and don't try and use your outside knowledge to answer this question. It's important that you use only the information that is given to you in the passage. So therefore, we use that to calculate it. Now, this actually can be quite confusing. So this is more of a logical one where you have to visualize it a little bit in your head. This is the kind of question that would equally fit nicely in to the decision making section because it's very logical. What we've done here is drawn a little diagram to represent what it's asking. So what it's doing here is telling you where the Earth is, where Venus is, and telling you that that's exactly halfway in temperature between that of the Earth and Mercury. So essentially what we're doing here is working out the gap between Earth and Venus and then adding that onto the distance between Venus and Mercury to give us the total temperature in Mercury. And this is where the question is a little bit naughty because you know that Mercury is close to the sun and therefore going to be hotter. And that does help give you a clue using your outside knowledge. But like I say, normally we don't use that. So the way to do this is either that you know both the halves are 460. So you do 460 times two, which is 920 plus the original 20, which will give you 940. Or you can do the, you know that it's 480 and you know that the difference between here and here is 460. So 480 plus 460 is 940. So that gives you the final answer, which we know from the questions is E. Now it's always good to try and work out the answer before going and looking at the options, because obviously if you have something and it's correct, then the chances are that if you can find it in the answers, then you're even more likely to be right. And it kind of affirms that decision. So well done for having a go at that question. It's really important that you not only got it right, but you did it quickly and you know why you got it right. That's the most important thing at this stage of the UCAT preparation is to understand why you're getting the questions correct or incorrect and then implementing that at speed. If you'd like some more help on how to score really highly in the UCAT, I recommend that you check out this top tip series here. Otherwise, if you want some more about the quantitative reasoning specifically, I've got an entire playlist that's gonna get you up to speed really quickly there. So thanks for watching and I'll see you over in one of those videos.